A nearby fire sent the U.S. Capitol into lockdown Monday morning, with people being warned to stay away from windows and doors. The Secret Service later clarified the lockdown was ordered out of an abundance of caution and that there is no threat to the public. With just two days to go until the inauguration, officials are working to shore up security in the nation's capital. That includes background checks on the more than 20,000 National Guard troops with leaders on alert for potential insider threats. But Daniel Hokinson, the chief of the National Guard Bureau, told CBS News' David Martin he does not share those concerns. Are you worried at all about the reliability? of your National Guard troops? Absolutely not. Have you been screening some of the troops as they come in? Uh, yes, sir. In coordination with the Secret Service and the FBI, they're screening all the personnel that are coming in. Nearly a dozen ex-military members have been arrested in connection with the January 6th assault on the U.S. Capitol. We must police our own. We must look. We can't allow people wearing in, in uniform wearing QAnon patches and just let that go as their particular political beliefs. A law enforcement official confirms to CBS News authorities are bringing charges against people associated with radical militia groups known as the Oath Keepers and the Three Percenters. Both are known to recruit among the military and law enforcement. Years after 9-11, we were focused on foreign-based violent extremism, foreign-based terrorism. Now the principal threat comes from within. A new CBS News poll shows a majority of those surveyed say the biggest threat to America's way of life comes from other people in America. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.